Okay then, as promised uh, the other day at the range, I would measure the uh, precision ballistic Mako slugs, just to see how they, what the consistency is. Uh, all the slugs I've got, I've only got 19 left now since doing all the tests. So these will be the ones I'll test next at the range using the Rite. Uh, they've all been lubricated so that might add a little weight to it. But uh, we'll start off with the first one. This weighs 10.5 grains. That's bang on the money. Second one. Ten point six. Ten point six. Ten point six. Ten point six. Like I say, I've lubed them so there could be some rubricant in the uh, hollow point as well so they're fairly consistent actually not much in it it's not going to make any difference at that weight so uh, that's weighing the slugs uh, like I say I've found these to be the most accurate slug so far so that is uh, the Mako slugs on the scales Right, I couldn't find a pull through that the dogs have uh, bloody lost. So uh, I'm going to make make another one. Basically, all it is, I've got some heavy duty strimmer wire. And what you need to do, you need to cut a slot in it at one end so you can put your uh, pull through in. But the uh, thing is, with uh, these being round, uh, it's not that easy, so the best thing I've found is to uh, put the end of it in a vise and squash it flat. And once you've squashed it flat, makes it easier. Well, it makes it easier to put the uh, slot through it. So you can see that that's the slot there. I'm going to do it a bit more. That's better. Do a longish slot and get a standing knife. Cut down that, and the best way to do that is uh, I've got some decking. You can stand it in the decking so it don't move. That's what I'm going to do. Put the deck in there. Get the flat bit. Stick it in one of the grooves so it don't move about. Trying to cut a slot through it. Take that. I think you get the idea anyway. Yeah, I've got a slot going there. If you 
can see that. I've got the uh, slot in it now, so you've got the loop. Basically what I do, I, I get a duster, a brand new duster, cut it up into strips and pull it through that way. But that is uh, a cheap way of doing a pull through for your air gun. That's all I do. Okay then I sorted out the leaky rete. Just needed to change the uh, bearing on the uh, regulator, that's all. So need to clean the barrel now. So I've got one cleaning strip. Like that. Give it a bit of uh, silicon spray. Right, got the rifle off the barrel. A lot easier than faffing around at the breech. So basically thread the I can use a straw to get problems this is catching at the moment on the uh, on the muzzle brake resistance on that. So do another one. So if you look at most of the uh, suede slug manufacturers they Recommend uh, cleaning the barrel first and lubing the uh, slugs up. This one's the uh, Lafer Wolf polygon barrel that Cliff uh, engineered to fit the rifle. Yeah. 
was clean anyway. Alright. Shut the barrel back. And what Cliff did, he marked the end of the breech with a, a notch so you can see where the uh, O ring or O ring uh, transfer port lines are. And uh, basically, put to an extra. Barrel grub screw on it. Because the originals only come with one for some reason. Okay. Make sure these fit. Lovely. Safety off. She can decock these. So that's, uh, that's the barrel cleaned and the air leak sorted. And they've got a hole in the side of the nut that you can put a Allen key through to tighten the hole. So that's the retake ready for the range in the morning. I'm a new cleaning, pull for it. Okay then folks. So that's the retake sorted out for tomorrow now. Like I say, I uh, fitted a new O-ring on the regulator. It seems to be holding here now. Uh, I've also, the side plate on here was pretty much crap. Uh, it had like a, a checkered pattern on it. Why on earth did it do that on it? I don't know, but I've rubbed it down and I've sprayed it with some uh, vinyl black. So that will sort that out. Uh, I've got 19 Mako slugs to put through it tomorrow. Uh, like the others, I'll probably do six shots at 30, see how it groups, and then push it out a bit. Uh, I will be putting other things through it as well. I'll try those uh, RWS uh, power bolts through it, and uh, I'll also work. Uh, do the zero in using the uh, H&N Barracuda Max that I used the other day. Uh, so that's the retake. I did get a message 
on the YouTube channel from uh, Andrew Morrissey uh, and he was asking if I could do the ballistic clay test again at 40 or 50 yards so Andrew yes I'll do that tomorrow uh, I'll be getting up early in the morning because I have got things to do uh, so another early start again uh, so it, I mean I've, I've been really impressed with the uh, these new Mako slugs uh, I have also got some 13 grain slugs from uh, Wildman that do really well as well so I might, I might even use some of those as well tomorrow but uh, that's just a quick update on uh, what I'll be doing and what I have been doing today this afternoon so uh, I'll see you in the morning <laughs>